Hello everybody and welcome to Mr. Stansfield's education videos. Today we're going to take a look at resizing using Photopea. To resize an image in Photopea, there's a couple of ways that you can do it. The way we're going to look at today is under the image menu and then we go down here to image size. You can see there is a shortcut to do that. Now depending on what you're doing, uh, what your output is, where are you sharing this image to, you want to um, potentially change any of these three, width, height, or here it says DPI, um, and that actually is a little bit of a misnomer. It is a, uh, a DPI stands for dots per inch, where what, what, what it actually means is PPI or pixels per inch. We're not too worried about it. The first thing that we're going to change today, because our output is going to be a 4 by 6 print, we want our DPI to be 300 pixels per inch, or dots per inch, pixels per inch. And um, once we plug in the 300 dots per inch, we want to go up here and change our unit. Um, the default is pixels. We want to change that to inches, I-N. And then we want our width and height to be no bigger. The smaller number should be no bigger than 4, and the larger number should be no bigger than 6. So I'm just going to plug in 4 and see what happens here. If I hit the tab key, I can tap around, and you can see 4, when the 4 is plugged into the width, the height is 5.33. So no bigger than 4 by 6 means that it can be 4 on one side, and then whatever the height is, if it's you know um, smaller than 6, we're, we're okay. We can say okay and we're done. If you have a horizontal photo, these numbers are going to be flipped. So your height is going to be the smaller number, and the width is going to be the larger number. Now it may be that if I plug in a 6 here on the height, this number is now, the width is now 4.5. So that's not going to work. Uh, it's too big. Now you could crop this if you wanted to, but in this case what we want to do is just change the width to 4 and let the height be 5.33. That's okay. I'm going to say okay and let that complete. Now the image is a little bit smaller on the screen, but that's okay. That's it. That's all I want you to do for this 4x6 image resize. Change your DPI to 300, and then make sure the image is no larger than 4x6. Okay, so what happens if you have a horizontal photo? Let's look. Image, uh, image size. And we want to go ahead and change our DPI first. We change that to 300. Make sure that the unit is inches. And then in this case, our height is the smaller number and our width is the longer number. So in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and plug in 6 and see what happens. This is smaller than 4, so that tells me this is, this is done correctly. But if we change our height to 4, this is now bigger than 6. So we can't do that, right? So we, it needs to be no bigger than 4 by 6 inches. So in this case, I'm going to plug in 6. I'm going to let the height be whatever it is. And I'm going to click OK. And now I'm done with that resize. Okay. The last step, always export your photo, save as a PSD if you've done some edits um, and you want to keep those edits um, adjustable later, otherwise you can export it as a JPEG. Now, it does say that this is a place that you can actually change your, your size here. When we're printing, we always want to make sure our quality is 100%. We're going to click Save, and then this is going to give me an opportunity to save this file. Now, I always want to rename my file. I don't want to save it as the same name because I've resized it. If I replace the file, if I had the same name, um, if I saved it to my um, Google Drive and I had the same name for that file, it's going to overwrite the file and I won't be able to go back and print it any bigger than 4 by 6 um, Now sometimes we would want to do that. So we always want to rename it and I would recommend your last name, underscore first name, underscore, um, you know, like photo 2, underscore whatever the project is, fall colors, and then .jpg. If you go down here to the format, .jpg will automatically be added. So we can just click Save there. And that's it. That's how you resize a photo for printing on a 4x6 printer. 